Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the uh, Haran series here on the Lord Master channel. That little slight hesitation I had is because, as you can see, the entirety of the Abbasid Caliphate is in turmoil. Not just, you know, due to the internal war from within, but there's also a war within a war, locally. And first off, one is due to the Amir Sovel's claim on Al Arabia, the empire title of it, which means if he gets it, then, then um, this man here, or in this case, this boy who is of uh, Sabasid, who's only heir to the Mosque of Al Kufa. In fact, that's the brother of the current Caliph, which he's defending against, but is losing. <laughs> but of course, the Sunni Caliphate would still be around. But that would make things a little bit unease. And also there is a war within a war, as we will zoom in here. Our capital, Haran, is currently occupied by the, uh, by the forces that are fighting against uh, our liege. Our liege's liege, so to speak. Because our liege is actually the uh, current king of Armenia, which is under a regency, which I am the regent. And I've done some research here on what should I do but before I talk about that I mean, we're gonna have to deal with this uh, entity here this army here which we were able to take away their best commander and now they resort to this um, Abkhaz mercenary he's a courtier of a mercenary captain with no prowess skill whatsoever he's doing fine and neither is this one who is who? <laughs> Blind, incapable, melancholic, no wonder. And also, I've hired mercenaries in which they'll be around for 20 months, whereas theirs is going to go away first if they don't pay the money. While well, we still have a few veteran step warriors and, and uh, Himalayan warriors along with a few of ours, in which I kind of want to expand a bit, but we don't have the money for it. Especially that the maintenance would be, you know, horrific. Especially with our capital now occupied, in which we got to liberate that area. But well, we got to defeat this army first, before we will liberate Haram. In which that control is reduced and, and such. And we lost a few good fighters in the past few battles. And also, I kind of have this thought. I think we have no choice but to call in allies. I mean, we cannot call Philistine over there because they're the ones that are uh, currently rebelling against. But we could call, and I've been cogitating on this, um, where we bring a uh, Vijaya Rusta of the army over here. Yes, Vijaya Rusta, the kingdom of Khotan. Yes, we do have connections with them, in which we'll bring it in. They got nothing better to do, but it's going to take two years for the army of theirs to get here. And once they get into more friendly territory, such as here, that's when they'll be able to resupply and uh, go into combat. So, they'll be coming over, then this will make up for when our when the mercenaries go away when the contract expires and depending on how this goes we may have to bring them in as well and this will make our job easier now that we have um, did our task here so can demand a few payments
Abdu'l-Wahadimantais, you are the one who's rebelling. I don't suppose you can, um, you know, stop this war? But I do need the money for not only the maintenance for the army to go, but also to, um, strengthen one of our men-at-arms to try to keep going. Even if we don't have everybody that's, you know, available to us. So, plus, I don't have long to live. Health is poor, so get the money. Give me it. I mean, I wish I could tell you to please stop the war. And my acquaintance over there, since I also have a strong look on him, will pay me as well. Two cruises could be ransom. This is the man who, um... Uh, who we said it's the that he's the best commander out there. Look, holy warrior, border, desert warrior, reckless. I have never seen anyone this skill before. So he's kind of too dangerous to be even considered a release. Otherwise, they'll put him back in the front line. So he stays. And you want your wife back? Pay me. And now, the Regency. Regis power sharing. Sharing power in an entrenched Regency. So let's explain for those who may not be familiar with this. If a Regency lasts too long, it may become entrenched. And the region becomes even more powerful compared to their leech. The benefits the region gets from the skills of power becomes much more powerful. To end the entrenched regency, the region must accept the gift from their liege, or the liege must tip the skills to their favor. And this is the scales of power, which, during power sharing, the balance of power between the liege and diarch is measured on the scales of power. As the scales tip towards the diarch, they unlocked borrowed powers and may add costs to the liege's mundane actions. As they tip towards the liege, Instead, it makes it easier for the leech to end the power sharing. The scales can be swung by using the swing scales of power character interaction against the opposing party. As the darks serving your leech well, however, cynically, in mandate events. Again, there's so much to explain of what the is all this. Now, the mundane actions, which when the scales of power favor the dark and power sharing, some interactions with the leech may begin to cost prestige such as revoking a title, retracting a vassal, imprisoning characters, and executing characters unless the Legion's faith practice some form of human sacrifice. And a power sharing, that um, the, when it occurs when she shares some authority with one of the vassals or courtiers who becomes their dark. The ruler who shares the power may set mandates or a dark, where the dark may use borrowed powers Skills power resume. Now the mandates. Um, the mandates are a useful task of liege that can set for a dark when sharing power. Similarly to counselor tasks, the liege selects a mandate and solely receives benefits from it. When a dark does their job well, they both swing the skills power to themselves to generate strife with their fellow vassals. How much benefit the liege receives depends on the dark's dark aptitude and loyalty. Well, the loyalty right now is situational because I don't like the liege because he's a Christian, plus diligent and negative opinion, learning education and culture as philosopher culture, and I have a compassion for the child ruler. But I have other plans, and look at my aptitude. It's excellent. Which I could do, you know, all these things. But the mandate they have for me is to promote authority, which characters and counties leaving factions, boosted crown authority, and boosted counselor opinion. Now these are the powerful vassals in Armenia. Two of them are selfless, and two of them are self-interested. And none of you like me, except maybe you. In fact, since I'm quite a poet myself, I'll send you a poem. Just to get you to like me. You mocked it? 
Ah, damn it. How dare you. Now, oh, what is this legal meddling? Abuse your position as the realm's second most problem and to forge a claim on title. Oh, I don't want any of your titles, no. I already have what I want, and that's the Kingdom of Armenia. This is possibly one of the few ways that I need to get that kingdom title. See, that's why I was chosen regent, because of that score. Because of personal ties, I'm a powerful vassal and a counselor. And a royal court, because I do have a great amount of diplomacy skill, and I speak Armenian. And the fact that I'm diligent. So the current skills of power is level 4. Which the Darks can try to retract vassals below their tier from other vassals. The Darks can attempt to imprison fellow vassals and court tiers within the realm of their liege. And the uh, liege pays some uh, 75 prestige or more on mundane actions. The current swing value is 72.75. Next month, it's going to swing back this way till it bounces out to 50. Which I think I'd rather make it keep going up, because if I go up to level 5, the Liege just can't try to dismiss their region. And the uh, Liege pays significant uh, procedure more on mundane actions. But if I get up to level 6 at the max, the Dyer can issue an ultimatum to their Liege, demanding a permanent transfer rule if they can convince the majority of the Liege's power vast to support a coup. And Leech pays an abhorrent amount of prestige and more on mundane actions. And uh, coups are launched by decisions, whilst power vassals are invited via character interaction. I'm sorry I humiliated you over a poem. Uh, it would be barely enough to get the opinion up, but I'd be wasting a lot of money, whereas I'd rather have money for the uh, for the war effort <sighs> maybe maybe not but if I swing the skills right now you could either pay the gold or or spend the prestige which I got plenty of <laughs> so it's swing changes by 10 swing it and, and you can't do that again until two years time So I've reached uh, level 5, which they can't get rid of me now. But of course, each passing month I'm going to lose it, although then I'm going to swing it back up unless I do uh, a few actions or wait for events to pop up so I can swing the skills of power all the way to level 6. And then maybe eventually we could attempt to overthrow the liege and maybe perhaps I can usurp the tunnel just gotta get it up to the max currently have one eligible power vest supporter the required is three so we can't do that unless we get them on our side Does that mean I have to send you bastards some gifts? Or at least try to sway. I mean, you're a reasonable man. Sorry about the poem. So I think we got the Regency front covered. All I need now is to, uh, well, focus on the local war for the time being. But, time is at a limit. And there is no way I can get healthier than what I already have now. As much as I would like to go meditate, I can't be doing that. I'm a regent now, so I can't do any activities.
and I was considering expanding the size of the Marlboro Zone. I mean, a martial skill is excellent, but not too high as much as I would like to have. I mean, if it was higher, then it would cost less to increase the size of the men at arms. But the Vari's effectiveness is, is better than what is, you know, been generous tonight and such. Maybe if we could capture more men and capture more territory, there could be some money in that. I fear that we may have little choice but to do so. He's infirm, feeling fine. Well, you like me well enough. So, I'm pointing you as steward. So, hopefully, we can get some extra taxes along the way. Once. Uh, actually, before we continue the war, I just want to check one more thing regarding Regency. I know, I know. I'm looking. I know it doesn't have the Crown Authority and everything. Look again. Powerful vassals part. I want eligible, which is me. Need supporters, which I think we need to get our positive opinion towards me. But you have the diplomacy skill. You could change the opinions of everybody. That you know of. Perhaps you can. Yipe! Don't do that. I think honestly, I think you may want to keep the money. You may never know if the vents pop up that relates to Regency that may uh, get the skills of power up towards my favor rather than rather than the boy here as um he's got three years till um he becomes a ruler and if uh regency becomes a trench then i'll be regent for life and maybe potentially overthrow him if i have enough supporters but knowing him very rational so we'll likely to avoid tyranny and could be more amenable, hopefully. Hopefully it could be reasoned with. So let's get on with the war. You know it's gonna take some time to get everybody recovered. Here comes the money. Negotiate mercenary contracts. Why didn't you do that before for me? And now he joins. Now, oh yeah, I forgot about the Kotan regarding Kotan, the Vijaya Rosta. That's over in the Tower Basin region. My daughter who is Serbian, culturally Serbian. Um, I mean, we found him while he was wandering in the land of the Afghans. Um, or, uh, yeah, around 
was doing, and took off the light lands. That's where he was wandering around. And uh, we found out that he was the heir to um, the uh, Vijaya Rusta. And uh, um, we assassinated the brother of his down here. That was Simhan III. And we were able to get that patrol arranged before he took over. And also she's converted to Buddhism, Mahayana Buddhism to be exact, and that's fine, because it's suitable over there. And I have no ill will towards Buddhists, because yes, we may consider them evil, because we're pagan, um, although that term's used loosely. Now they consider us hostile, which they are negotiable. And already has a daughter. So now there's going to be a Kraya Vilena Kotan. That's, you know, Serbian language for Kingdom of Kotan. Or Hotan. If any of you several Croatian speakers know if there's a name for Kotan. Although I doubt it changes the name. I think it's the same. We'll win decisively out here because this is neutral ground. Teachings of the common soldiers. During this dark period of war, it is, became apparent to me that we would be gained by mingling with the common soldiers, sergeants and men-at-arms, debating tactics with them, checking with whom are capable of better interacting the battlefield, the specific capabilities and liabilities. Of course, mingling, discussing ideas, even worse, secret advice of the common soldier will affect my prestige, which corners me in a dilemma, as certainly on the other hand, by passing this opportunity will stress me. If you are not arrogant, you will suffer the stress. If you are humble, you will suffer even more stress. I'll approach my men. By mingling and studying tactics of the combat soldiers, sergeants, and men at arms, this character gains significant knowledge about how the army fights better. So, if I was leading the army right now, I would have more advantage than I would normally. And plus, a little more martial, which adds more advantage and a few other, you know, benefits, especially men at arms maintenance. But I cannot lead an army, I'm the regent, and I need to be in Armenia for this. Gotcha! Just avoid them. Go fight here. It's Captain Murad who is leading this mercenary captain. We got them all. We captured that commander. And uh, this Dajestani man here who. Oh, he could join us. Remember, we gotta take the objective. Well, that man's no good. Well, we were able to eliminate them. Fortunately, you're a military engineer. We don't have any siege weapons, because our culture doesn't have that. Some sturdy, strong youths from the loco uh, Malian community have offered to become my bodyguards. Inspired by my efforts to reach out to their community, they wish to return the favor by ensuring my safety. Elders in their community have vouched for their skills and experience in fighting. Some have even served as mercenaries elsewhere on the Silk Road for a few years. And they would, alter and they would protect me fearlessly and serve me with utmost uh, loyalty. Because of current reinforced relations with the local Maori community, the quality of gifts, gifts is likely to be better than I've gotten it from the other communities. So I got a major contingent of these Silk Road bodyguards. So members of the local community of foreign origin along Silk Road, including a number of military veterans, who recently pledged their services as loyal bodyguards to this character. That ups my prowess a bit, and uh, hostile scheme resistance as well. So I feel safer already. Now get down here. We gotta take the objective and win this war. So we can stop this stupid nonsense. After being summoned by a min, spy master, 
Kandan of Mazen told me that one of her worries regarding Wale Sahir of Aravaraka. Her careful analysis of this vassal mind revealed a personality that, due to his poor opinion about myself, places my life at risk. As things stand, she advises me that it is wise to improve the opinion of the Wali that has of myself or the other non-conventional means to get rid of him in order to increase my future security. In an knowledge the threat is just theoretical. My men are appointed to see and prepare for dangers at every corner, but my life can possibly be on the line, so that's what I must do. Thank you for the advice. I'm jealous that he has that trinket. Another problem with that opinion is because he's of the wrong faith. Now, oh, listen. Now has it gone too long now. Now. Hmm. Pressed. And if I ended white piece, it, like it will go from unpressed to pressed, which means inheritable claim. Is that correct? Legally strong and are inherited. Okay. And this is uninherited. Not inherited. So, if in any event that I die, the claim to the kingdom of Ayrat, Armenia, will be passed down to Sinan, and it will be up to him. To get it by other means. And as well as to expand the realm. We'll get Hyron back a little later. Dark scheme better than the Legis realm. Ah. I think it would be best to get rid of that man. But it would not be wise to try to get rid of the whole family. Again, I had also looked up this thing regarding culture. I mean, not culture, I mean, we're far away from getting this. But I looked up the neighboring ones, such as the Assyrian one. This one's going to be 20 years. And this, 23 years. After this war, I think I would be better off converting to Syriac culture. For the sake of crown authority. So that way I have the ability to revoke the title and get rid of any unruly vassal of mine. You know, like this one. Because he could spell trouble. I see a tournament over there, but I don't want to leave here. I need to be the regent. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle with the aid of a stone or glass. Even old men struggling with bad eyes I could read with ease. Do I really need more money? There's some loot in that. So I'll say, Aziz, I require your assistance. You'll get a weak hook on me, but don't expect him to use it. Rather have less stress gain. I'd like to know half thyself, so I'm actually going to go that way instead. The longer this war goes on, the stress is going to keep increasing. Dear God. The Summit Army of the Tariq Pass. 145 days. That's... Twenty months, thirty, sixty. That's almost five months. In fact, it may have been five months since we just unpaused the first time.
Well, there should be no opposing forces right now. Except for those over there, which... You got an awfully... Ah! It's the Fortress of Admita. Established in the city of Admita by the Romans, this remarkable fortress has seen many rulers vying for its dominance. It's the fortress's greatest assets are its walls, high and thick, nearly impenetrable, constructed with resilience, defense, and mind. They're going to be holding out for a year. So they won't interfere in our affair. recruitment for increased levy size. Oh, crud. That's a popular stuff rising. It's got levies and it's got a few light footmen. Madmen. Well, now I added Verdly Ada to me. Guess the Syriac Orthodox were mad. Continue with the siege. Consider that as local resistance. Yeah. Card Valley Orthodox is uprising. I was about to say. Card Valley. As in Georgian. Oh, that's them. It's an Abbasid issue. And we just inadvertently stopped the bigger contingency of it. Take the bloody objective. I step out of my tent and rub my eyes. Uh, the siege camp sprawls out before me. A patchwork tent city straddling a rise overlook a dia uh, roja. Beerus flags bearing heraldic birds are spread across the barren crags. The smell of tar and neats for that oil hangs in the air. My low retainer approaches and informs me that the siege has ended. I gather my bodyguards and head to the edge of the camp. The uh, Daya of Aurora stands for me, a smoking pyre, a grey shadow amid the remains of my conquering army, a desolate waste on the parched fields, and smoking hovels dotted with blood and perversion, witnesses to a nightmare beyond hell itself. In the fields between, corpses rot in the grass, and vultures uh, wheel and screech, and embers fall around me, and smoke rises in the thick clouds, grieving widows and orphan children wander uh, amid the ruins. Smoke waves up from the mending fires, and flies buzz around the blackened buildings. Men look for you for direction. The Assyrian and the Dane. If I didn't loot this place, he would be disappointed in me greatly. And I don't want to make the Dane mad. I brought him here. So I'll say, fine. I'll allow for limited looting. As much as I'm against that practice. And imprison everyone you see there. Some of them may be important. And in fact is important. Because not only we took the objective. But also the attacker controls war target. So therefore we could finally end this destructive conflict. Which had been going on for four years. Four long bloody years. And capture direct vassals of the enemy. So, the land is mine. Even though we looted this place twice. 
Greetings. Peace be with you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put in this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. <laughs> At least that was with respect. And now, uh... Well... At least we don't... <laughs> Where's the army of, uh... The Jail Rusta? Disband already, okay. I guess we managed on our own. Now the Regency. In... In four months, it's gonna lose a level. But there's something I also want to do, if there is time. Ah, yes. Write a scholarly treatise. Uh, treatise. Now, where is my quill? That's something to spend my money on. Before my life ends, I would like to end... Uh, before my life ends, I would like to write one more treatise. As someone who is considered a Haranian scholar, it is time made some contributions to the intellectual world. We Haranians can boast a long lineage that stretches back to the Neoplatonic Academy in Athens, and ultimately to the wise ancient thinkers like Plato and Hermes. I prepare my writing instruments, as well as various books and scrolls written by experts I could consult for research. I'm eager to get started. Yeah. Before my life ends, I want to write this. Development is five. We really devastated this area. Also, Syria Orthodoxy. And very, very. Whew. I mean, the offensive war will go away with time, as we don't plan on any more offensive wars. So, it's not about target, as we just took this area. See too if we can liberate this back. Cause don't get in a fight with them. <laughs> Maybe the adversaries will come and help us with this issue, I hope. In fact, where are you? They're gathering. Unrelated. What the heck? Egypt has been broken up into several entities. What happened? Became ruler of the Delta. Kingdom of Egypt. Destroyed. Which means that... Um, he lost the, uh, I mean, it happened in a June. Okay, look again. Again, this happened on June 6, 890. June 6, 890. 890, 890. Okay. This probably happened, um, due to the fact that, uh, there was this, um, probably a faction, a disillusioned faction, and, uh, his personality, we can assume that, um, he lost it and or accepted their demands because it grew too powerful and then it's all destroyed. So, Egypt's broken up to several parts. We have not seen a partition of Egypt since the days of the ancient pharaohs. How long would it take? Four years. Seven months. 
seven months and uh, nine months. As my predecessor, at least in some counties, decided to apply harsh laws to keep people in order and the dread high, it is now my time to review the policy set a path by my own decision. Revoke the harsh laws across my domain. And of course, the control level will be still down, but at least we're gonna try to make them amenable. All the one. How could you do this tomorrow? If I have sinned, why would you not punish me instead? She was blameless. She's my perfect little daughter. I have had so much in store for her. She's sick, died in childbirth. Well. Oh, and she's sickly too. So we lost the alliance with the Jerusta. I gotta get my home back, and then we're gonna be on constant patrol. Speaking of patrol, I saw that option earlier. Increase county patrols, recover control of your counties. That costs money. A lot. It's a good idea in theory. Do we have a sunshell? Yes. And a lot of prisoners. And Umiata, pay up. Well, actually, you know who's got the money. Look at those. And I hope we don't have to fight him again. But I'm willing to let you go. Because I need the money for other things. 100 gold? What makes you so damn important? Dreamscape, the primordial universe. I wander a field of blurry yet vivid colors. I cannot tell what is above and what is below, and what is left and what is right. I simultaneously flow driplessly and walk aimlessly. Am I in a primordial churning ocean or a primordial endless skies? Somewhere deep within myself, though I cannot articulate it. I know that this is the era of dreams, when people could not distinguish between conscience and subconscience. When we walk the dreamscape of the universe under the benevolent gaze of the One. I know not the beginning, nor the end. Eons pass before I slowly regain consciousness. I find myself back in the bed. Outside, the sun is rising. I lose stress because I'm a calm man. I dreamt of a primordial universe. That's what happened. Right. Now that we got the money, um, two things. One, increase the size of the library zone. And two, um, we gotta do something about this regency. To get things back my way. Oh, yeah, you're still around. Okay. Who's this then? Oh, you're a poet. You could be reasoned with. Although, don't, you know, with me. It takes a poet to know a poet. But for once, I'm going to send you some Silk Run entertainers. I hope you like them. <laughs> It'll, you'll look at me highly for this. When a problem here like myself wants to make a great impression on another member of the elite, basic gift of Silk gold or other luxuries will not suffice. Across the prosperous lands of Eurasia and the so-called Silk Road, people are a more memorable gift that one can provide. Or to be more specific, entertainers like musicians, dancers, and acrobats, as well as beautiful slaves and courtesans who give her visual and even pleasurable twists to entertain. Why give a few measly Silk Roads or pieces of jewelry when I can show, truly show my wealth and status and authority this way? I decided to present Miriam, a troupe of skilled entertainers and slaves from around. They will become part of a court that serve all the years to come. This is a gesture of diplomatic goodwill to her. And 
just to try to get her on my side. One eligible. But that's not enough. You need to do more than that. Unless you want to get desperate. Steal gold from your liege. This is a stewardship challenge, folks. So if they found out about me, that I've been bezeling. Five times develop it. And if they found out that I did this, then... Then he'll lose respect for me and will imprison me for this. Uh, what is strife? Strife is a opinion penalty for the dark by the fellow vassals. Strife occurs when the dark uses their borrowed powers or in mandate events, as the dark does not have the same authority as the leech. Okay, maybe don't do that one. Can imprison your acquaintance. Fellow vassal. It is a piece of power, but why on earth would I want to do that? You have to get the approval of it. Subsidized liege authority. Gets the law limit crown authority for him. Convenient scapegoat. Huh. Uh, cannot do that because we don't have that innovation. And so do they. Just get our capital back. Regents less powerful, that's me. Drop to a lower level. But don't worry. Claim to Armenia is inheritable. If I'm not the one to do it, then my son will. But do I really want to get rid of this man? Knowing that one day he may cause trouble. He's a vengeful man, so yeah, I think you should get rid of him. I murdered once, and I am not above to go murder again. Help me with this. I did do some strife, so I kind of regret doing that. You want to install somebody to the throne? Well, whenever all this chaos subsides, gained a manipulation hook. You got any money in you? No? Jamu is back in action. I gave him his release. 
As long as we don't fight. Arida is a fine name. And again, I am considering uh, converting to local culture so I can have the whole, you know, revoke titles and such when I get the Crown Authority up. Especially that'll be the culture head. But the thing about it is, I kind of like being, you know, Levantine Arabic with the whole philosopher culture, the fascination progress. In 21 years, they'll have eye for an eye, which the vengeful trait will become more common, while forgiving to look down upon. And Syria it doesn't have, I mean, it does have dryland dwellers like the Levitidu, which is good. Loyal subjects seems. Yeah, that's fine. City holdings give a more popular opinion. Build buildings faster. Poet traits more common. And room for adding one tradition. Whatever that would be, of my choosing. Likely philosopher culture. That I would pick. But, there is a flaw in that. I would lose this. Commander traits the personality traits of extra dry terrain bonuses. So I would lose that. But, however... This whole um, Syria culture is, I mean, it'll slowly become more accepting. And plus, they have something that we don't. Karen Sarai. Look here. Our culture doesn't have that. The Syriacs do. The Karen Sarai, that gives more holding tax, development growth, and cultural acceptance gain. So I kind of have this idea that maybe, perhaps, that I should convert that culture so I can have that, you know, a few things, including the ability to get the plenary assemblies a little faster. And at the same time, in nine years' time, we can build more cities and temples if need be. And if we're going to be more amenable to uh, the culture of the Sami culture, Maybe I'll form a hybrid culture for myself. Yeah. That's an idea. That is an idea. Yes. I mean, I got the prestige for it just to change cultures. <laughs> Again, despite the fact that I liked being Arabic here. But that herbalist trait thing, um, that's kind of... Eh, why is that there? But I liked these three. I like those three, and I wish I could keep those. So it would be called Syriac Sami. And we'd be getting all these other things that, you know, that us Serbs don't have. Syriacs have siege weapons. We don't. But there's always a catch of things that we have and things that they don't. And Assyria culture has bonus. This is the one where the March Field contract is. Plus, accolades. We don't have accolades. Accolades are honored given to knights by their leech. A knight who holds an accolade becomes an acclaimed knight. As the acclaimed knight gains glory, the accolade rank of their accolade, accolade attributes increases, offering stronger bonuses to their leech. When acclaimed knights died, they are replaced in an accolade succession. Innovations in higher tier rules are allowed to have more accolades simultaneously. So, okay. 
fine. I'll convert to the local culture. And maybe over time, with some acceptance, maybe I'll form a hybrid culture down the line. Since the Syrics are nicer people. Plus, I know the Aramaic language, so it's easy to blend in. So, okay. Truth be told, there is little separating my traditions from those of the people in my capital. We observe the same holy days, the same public feasts, and our languages become almost the same. So, all I can say is fine. I'll take the Syriac culture. It has its benefits and drawbacks, but over time I think it'll work out. But, for goodness sakes, keep the Marburism. Get it up to three, just like with the light footman. You'll thank me later. I acknowledge who I am. But now, I dress differently, a little more Byzantine style. You're Syriac too. So, instead of Tabit Ibn Kor, now it's Tabit Bakor. Again, just only doing this, so that way I could be the culture head. And uh, everybody else in my family can join up. And now I'm the culture head. Please wait. First night contract expiring. Okay, now it's up to 50. So for a few years, I will have that progress of plenary assemblies to go up a little faster. Along with city planning, which takes about nine years as well. Acclaimed nine. Now it's the Eshwoe. This is my word. We could create an accolade. Give it to my son, because this is nepotism. The Eshwoe of the Wolf. So. Let me see. Oh dear. Man of diplomacy, or an idealist. Negotiating white peace provides prestige. Or how about him being a disciplinarian? Levy, levy maintenance. Hostile county attrition. More, more, and force marine attrition. If he were a thug, that would be dread game. To, to tyranny. In prison chances. Or a stalwart. Safety in travel. Army toughness. And and since he's the vanguard, heavy of true resonance, Marble Resonance that we have. Unlocks Retinue Vanguard. <sighs> okay, he keeps the Retinue Vanguard, but. A tactician um, is another thing. But mind you, it's liege modifiers. Keep that well in mind. Knight army. The uh, knight army thing. That is an effect applied to any armor which contains this acclaimed knight. The knights need not to be the army's commander for the modifier to apply. So yeah. I'm ferrying my son a little for this thing, so I will create the accolade for him. Vanguard Tactician. 
It will cause some prestige. So your edge war is not clear truth to begin provide your positive effects which are, which increase they gain glory. Which glory increases its rank. Glory is gained by declaring out by winning battles, defeating warriors, competing in grand tournament contests and attending activities. However, the accolades glory is lowered when your clan is involved in losing battles on an act of success or when it becomes an act of do it. Senan Al Harani, the Swara of the Wolf. Although he could have a little more better prowess. And uh, the successor to have is someone who serves as a Sen Knight. As held high, highest held title is least or equal to barony rank. And he's someone who has to be strong. It's also got to be a lactic. Again, one of these must be true. It's got a 12 or above. And has a trait from the physical specimens group. And has 20 experience at foot. It's got to be any of these. So call an eligible knight to join my court. If I can afford it. A knight who fulfills this requirement will join your court within six months. This is our only time to do this. And look, we can't raise the, the increased size of this regiment now because of that. Because we're no longer Levantine, but Syriac now. But I can increase the size of this if I wish to. So I'm still keeping this cultural, you know, men at arms because of its great benefits. Oh, and by the way, who's going to inherit this? Oh, yeah, all these places' his names have been changed because of the culture. Who's going to inherit this? My son will. That means grandson gets this. And is also keeping the Serbian heritage along with it. So, gotta get used to these names. Haran is now Haranu in um, Aramaic language of Syriac. And, uh, and I forgot what this place was called, but now it's called um, Urhe. The Kumet. So I don't know. Again, I'm not fluent in Aramaic. I don't know that language. I don't know squat about that. But it's something you ought to get used to. And before we continue, um, how much prestige is if we can, you know, have Auraka is not in the Overland Silk Road region. Is not. You sure? Look at I'm looking it up. Because I would love to add one tradition at least. Republican legacy. That's due to because it's of the Aramean heritage, I believe. Or we're just live a bit closer there. Overland Silk Road region. Click that view of its outline. We live here. Check one more time before I decide to try something else here. Currently, to fulfill this requirement, Let's talk about the county. All the more reasons why we gotta get rid of that man. Nearby assassination or revoke. What is this thing that I would like to have back that comes from the Arabs that I liked? I believe it was philosopher culture. There it is. But look how much that costs and how long that's going to take. I'd like to have that learning level for fame and uh, also the scholar trait and our education traits gives cultural fascination progress. I mean, that I like.
but I'm still keeping my um, army raised. So now we have a claim knight, and that is my son, which is just temporary. So that way, we can defeat whomever that we shall fight against. Maybe beat them up. But be on standby. Reservoir dogs. You can no longer increase control of the county. Are they? Well, they're moving up. Maybe we could just beat up whoever we see, and maybe just increase the glory for for my son here. As I said, it's a little nepotistic, I know. If you can't decrease control, we'll at least decrease control here. Come here! I arrived back at my castle after a long, lonely walk. Another year passed, another year older. I was born now 64 days ago. The older I get, the more I cherish the relationships I've cultivated over the years. So it saddens me I've not heard from my wife, Draga. Or any of my friends today. I trudge along my chambers, lonely as I'm getting my lazy feet, when I hear a clang and hush whispers from down the hallway. What could that be at this hour? Happy birthday! What a surprise! All my nearest and dearest friends have come for me to wish me well as I begin this next year of life. Here is even a tired table laden with saffron cakes, my favorite. I cannot believe that Draga went through all the trouble of raging this secret. I had not, well, had not a clue of, of a thoughtful surprise was being planned at all. My friend Eustodanos uh, approached me to struggle to carry three beautifully wrapped packages. Ever the trickster says, I have three gifts here for the choosing. One shall be yours, but which shall it be? I'll take the biggest one. This is a another sword, but not as good as the current sword that I still hold possession of. Okay, turn around. We can't catch them. Oh, maybe we won't catch them at all. Look where they're going. They're gonna band together here. Okay, you know what? Since they're just levies, I'm gonna do something stupid here. Follow my son. They're just levies. Go catch them. You can catch them with smaller numbers. They can move faster, you know? Now we're going to start having Syriac names. Aramya. Plus they're just levies. Still dealing with these. Worthy successor is found. The worthy Babaeus Hosei may be appointed. Guess we found our man. Hey, wait a minute. Are you no longer the, uh, the, um, acclaimed son? What I did was premature. I didn't know how everything works. Alright, get back to us. We'll figure something out here. Inactive acolytes. Okay, we'll point you here. So, some of that glory is lost. Gains the skirmisher attributes. 
cane. Okay. I think I get it now. Again, it's the first time I've done that sort of thing. I didn't have any prior practice. And you know what? That other sword that I just got, I'm keeping this. And as for this one, give that to my son. I know. Just give it to him. In use. Now, is there anything I could do for you? I mean, I could join your war and uh, deal with this mess. Plus, they're all starving up there. So that'll definitely hurt their advantage. Alright, I've finished writing a uh, treatise on the scholarly topic. There's hopefully another worthy Iranian contribution to learning. It's my hope that the knowledge I expounded upon in my work will, will be of benefit to humankind. At the very least, should bring me some fame and renown among scholarly circles in the region. The last one I had um, was uh, solving mathematical problems. And this is the treatise of Sorry, mathematical problems. I wrote another one of these. Well, it was hard work. I wrote the same damn book. And you know, you can destroy artifacts like these. Which, you can make some money out of that. But, it's better to stack things together. Take out that prize ring and I have another copy of this. It says I'm such a, a bookworm myself. I could get rid of this old prize ring and keep the other because it's better to have your spouse to be happy than just be attracted by other people. Trust me, I know. Get back together. Contract expired. Meet up. Just want to provide security. They still have formidable numbers to get them. And now the uh, Regency. Let's get back to that. Okay, in two months. As my position requires, deeply involving myself in the politics around. I exchange arguments, present ideas, defend my viewpoints, and politically backstab other counsel's arguments. Unfortunately, I don't seem to grasp the entire political. Well, the question becomes clearer and clearer to me. I'll never be a great politician. My strength lies elsewhere. By consequence of being entitled to character or have a seat on the Legion's Council, you have a chance to grasp a political and every decision made about them. Unfortunately, you're not up to the task, which depends on your personality. But this realization might come some stretch to I'm just a scholar, not a politician. Yeah, we're horribly outnumbered. Get back. I mean, I would love to join with the loyalists. 
Rare solitude, slippery when wet. Bathing alone is a rare treat for me. Has the uh, Amira. I have a ton of it at all times, either by genuine servants or else by vassals looking to have a quiet word about interruption. Even something as intimate as cleaning myself as a subject to that. Gently leveraging my languid form from the bath, I grip the edge and step towards the waiting stack of folded towels. Except not quite. My foot still wet slips, and only through the reflex I stop myself toppling to the floor. I should be more careful, I suppose. I'm 64 years old. It's not like I bear about tenants often. Yipe. Watch your step. There's a bit of defender advantage with this. If you fight directly, despite the fact that their army supply is running low, you are still at a horrible disadvantage because you are horribly outnumbered. And where are your friends? Now how long has this going on? Five years. Why haven't they called for white peace already? So I could get a peace of my mind. Peace of mind, I should say. Swing the scales. I have no choice. Swings up by 10. And I can do that again in another two years. Fifteen. Next year. Crud. What makes you a powerful region? You're not anymore because land's currently occupied. And I'm in no mood to start a civil war unless I have supporters. Look, even if you did fight against them, you would still lose despite the fact their army is starving. Oh, it's that man again. Your prestige. Good start. Yeah. Not a good place to be in. They're all resupplying, and uh, Armenia is having a peasant revolt.
Also, I'm about to get rid of this man. Because he's uh, going to be a danger to me. Even though he's intimidated. And plus he's sick right now. So, advantage me. Our agents have made contact with some people who say they can help with our Wally Sahil problem. Unfortunately, we don't know anything about this group. They're very secretive, but they do come with going recommendations for deficiency and professionalism. How oh, very mysterious. I am intrigued. Stroh was slid in the night, and finally we are rid of him. The unknown organization completed the task as we just agreed. The assassin was like a ghost, um, no one had a slice crew my fault. Can we keep them on retainer? Now listen, we're not gonna start killing the whole family. I mean, we could do that, where get rid of the whole family and the inheritance and such. Just get rid of the entirety of them, then um, and then we have ourselves, you know, uh, Raka. I believe it's better off to just be patient and uh, and just wait a few years and have limited crown authority, then problem solved. But of course, I'll be passing away soon, and thus that progress. We came to be rivals when a feud broke out between House Al Shabani and uh, Iran. Well, we did take your land. And now, uh, we're in a house feud. Which can lead to more issues. So watch your back. Sure, you really want to do that? Majorly disgruntled populace, that's why. The year is 901 AD, that's when in real life, um, Thabit Ibn Kura, that's when he passed away. Right now they're in my lands and there's nothing I could do about it. Because if you attack one of them, they're all gonna swarm down you and get rid of you. And the Avis's army just went away somewhere. Down to the southern front, I assume. Where their allies are at. But I can hope that um, they unoccupy these areas that are currently occupied. And, uh, call white peace and end this thing. Just all grown up now. That means my regency is over, correct? Yes, but I'm sure the event will pop up and say, Alright, it's time for you to go. I mean, it's been a week. I mean, it should pop up soon. I just know it. Just say, Okay, your regency is over. Now step down, please.
Now it doesn't say about anything. At least still have religious rights protected. There goes my capital again. And the new land that we conquered. Dick and my aloof concubines now held against the will by my comrade. Every courtier I know of, I guess they picked off, so just get everybody that you see there. My wife, too. And, uh, my daughter in law, spouse of my heir, has been killed in the siege, and they destroyed my artifact. you evil people. You see, this is why I raised my army and kept it this way. So those who are with me out here, they with me. Including you, for your own safety. And they killed the children too. Who's the leader of this? What kind of personality does he have? Gracious Ravener. You're a heartless bastard. They killed his they killed the children and imprisoned his wife. These men have no dignity, no compassion. They didn't loot it. So where are they going now before I go reclaim my uh, home? Which might as well get to work on that right now. And you know, you have the ability to have uh, siege weapons now, since you're Syriac. A healer, you say? I don't know. But I want my wife back. How much do I have to pay the ransom to get her back? So you're the one uh, responsible. Yeah. Are you also, is that also you responsible for killing my children? Yes, you are. That was you. It was you all along, you lunatic. You killed my grandchildren. You killed the wife of my son. That's it. You're next. And you're gonna assist me with this. There could be no mercy for those who kill my kin. can be convinced. Actually, there is a way that could be convinced. How'd you like a poem? Uh, oh, no, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Calling him an incompetent. No. Just sway them, man. Just one sway them will do. And it appears that the Regency of Armenia has not ended. As I said, he can't get rid of me now. I'm sure they're probably going after them down there, so they're going to be far away from here, so should be comfortable to liberate um, Haran again. 
Sigma Comron also took my grandchildren. Those are twins. Born in prison. You're not in a dungeon, are you? They're all under house arrest. Okay. Grandsons are there, including one named after me. Thank you very much. How much do I have to pay to get my wife back again? Priesthood. Grows closer gaining a hook on Draga. Well, I pay this amount of gold to get her back. I'm glad you're over there. I'm glad you're doing safe. malnourished since what are you around okay good know thyself so I'll know when do I pass away a natural causes so I can get ready Reflecting on the One. As I am sitting and meditating on the finer points of Haranism, I cannot help but think back when I traveled to Baghdad for my very first pilgrimage. This trip was far from the cruelty and comforts of my life as a Amir, but the relief I felt upon arriving at Baghdad made it all worth the trouble. I believe I will forever feel closer to the One. This is gonna get ugly. Well, in the form of my Gashosta, that's spy master in Syriac terms. Yeah, we know what's going on. It's that man who doesn't like me much as it used to. Especially that he's zealous and he's got some Roman pride in that man. He's Greek, you know. So be wary. Anonymous warning. Again. Rivals. Because of that man from over there, which I gotta get rid of eventually. As my scheme moves closer to fruition, swift communication is key. Especially I have a clever pigeon which although Hazam could use to send an urgent message to me here in Horanu if the need arises. How would I get the bird to the castle of Marash? A local bird trainer could deliver it as a gift. Messenger pigeon. Private initiative. I became aware today that Hosei, my Diana, Chancellor, is planning to host a meeting with my foreign neighbors to discuss matters of political and diplomatic interest. As he had probed everyone to attending, I'm left with the option of funding the meeting or facing a loss of prestige if I balk at this possibility. I feel a bit aggrieved uh, regarding my Diana's uh, behavior. I need to make a decision now. Let me see. Twelve. 
31. Damn it, I have to spend more gold for this. Or just say no and cause prestige loss. But however, get Percival where I could take the lead on needing delivering my own speech. I could reap a significant amount of prestige or risk more if I failed to cause a good impression. Where is this up? It depends on your diplomacy skill, whether you're shrewd, dull, or lack of an education diplomacy, and whether you follow diplomatic lifestyle or not. I'll give it a try. I got a very good diplomatic skill. Bad move. Bad, bad, bad. Liberated. Get this back as well. That's it's lost again. Major flaw. The many of my foreign neighbors are experienced in mess of all. I made a fool of myself for every foreign dignitary present. All in all, a significant failure will decrease my prestige. Of course it did. What happened? Executed on Kriz Mirosaw Duka's What? Was this recent? Today's the 28th of September and 6th of October. Uh. How did Duca get involved? Was executed and how did he get over there? I mean, this is an area that's in basically in mon dead modern day Montenegro or Senagora, which makes you wonder. Um, well, um. Come back here, please. Um, I mean, it's safe to come, but bearing in mind, uh, it's a bit troubling regarding the situation. I may have to get you Matrilene and Mary instead. You know, just to play it safe. To have more children. Because, you know, they keep killing my uh, Ken. can touch him. And plus he's got the strength of the gods. Yeah, bring him over here. Plus, Islamic sacredism. He'll like you. Wait a minute. I thought I made it matrilineal, is it not? I thought I set it to matrilineal. Oh gosh, what have I done? Am I an idiot? Actually, no. Uh, this was arranged before. I had the strong man to... Damn it, they got to her. troubling time in my realm. The Regency has officially ended. It's no longer sharing power with me. So we did all this for nothing.
God dog it. One of these days, we're gonna get in serious trouble in a way. As I'm trying to set my domain in the lands of uh, the Komatona of uh, the Overseer Minor Building Project, my Gashosta approaches me and claims that we need to plan again. Uh, a route as there are bandits waiting to ambush us. As things come to light, my spies are able to detect these outlaws and it saves us for us to avoid them altogether. Being this was a close call, it is obvious this county is not safe due to less optimal level control. So my spies were able to fool the action and it will cause my demise. The chance of this happening depends positively on the uh, Gasostas. Very high intrigue. All of something better than 17 qualifies for bonus. And being on a schemer, my own eye intrigue better than 11 also increases the chance of the outcome. Affecting negatively the outcome of my low intrigue is an 8, unless the intrigue of the other is lower than 13. As I'm about to be facing my own death, might be understandably shaken depending on personality traits. Magnificent job. Coming ill, but you know, I'm at the point where, um, look, I wish I could have you back, but I don't want to pay the money to that bastard. I was about to say, you are over there, right? That's your current location. Why do I get the impression that I want to go out and go rescue her? That'd be a noble thing to do, right? Free the prisoners? But to consider that is the defenses. That would take too long. While traveling among the domain of the countryside of Haran, our caravan was suddenly ambushed by a band of thugs that seeks riches and loot to sell. Unfortunately, these men know the language of steel. A very di dangerous situation that even my bodyguard provides additional protection. Oh, hell. If any of your counties is more to higher the risk, but has less than 90 control, but none less than 75, you stand a miserable chance of suffering this attack. However, having counties of very low control, the less or the worse, uh, raise additional risk when traveling through them as outlaws rule part of the territory. It was exactly the consequences that had happened to your character while traveling along the countryside of a dangerous county. Your marshal and your prowess will serve as modifiers, good, neutral, or bad, for picking this option while you in your party. One of your courtiers or guests might end up dead as a casualty due to this event. Could it be Babes, Hosei, or uh, Isa, uh, or even myself? Outwitting them would not be a good idea. That slightly increases the chance of my death. Because this is, involves learning, which I'm very good at. But my prowess isn't what it used to be. Plus, I'm ill. So they're taking advantage of me. Bastards! We must fight for our lives. salvage this, so this is going to work. <sighs> Again, it's about control. Murder attempts have been occurring. No longer sick. Wild West out here. That's what it is, basically. K 
Okay, now we liberate this area, which still has zero control. Because we just can't seem to get things together. We still have a Seneschal. I assume that my wife's health is poor. No, fine. She is an experienced traveler, you know. She's she's a I wouldn't say she's a patient one, but I know she's out there waiting for me to come rescue her. Oh no, it's that man. In three months, I think they're going to be focused on liberating the territories that are occupied by our liege. While I can swing on over here. I mean, what's he doing right now? Oh, he's sitting there doing nothing. And this is hostile country. And plus, there's an ongoing peasant uprising. Lead by Lilia Kersaru. Nothing to mess with. And you know we don't have siege weapons, and if it's gonna take months to, you know, one, get these built, and two, it's gonna start five soldiers reinforced to ten. Okay, it takes two months. <sighs> Damn it! Why am I so hesitant? Okay, fine. Get the siege weapons. gonna take some time to get them over here. Here's the siege weapons we're looking for. And, and two guys. Too bad we don't have a siege master. Siege engineer. So, okay, this may be the last act for this episode, um, so yeah, we know that man's coming on home, and he's gonna kill us all, while we bring our siege weaponry over. Well, me personally, since I'm still in Haran, with nothing better to do, maybe I ought to go meditate. Go to the hard scrublands of Talmara. No cost, nobody come with me, I'll be fine. I just needed to travel and think about things while... Regiment's race. We didn't have time to station. Zero a month. No, so it won't be reinforced then. We just gotta go now. Plus, it'll have a massive disadvantage. Armenia is at war. Disillusion war. Oh, no, that's worse. That would mean I'll be stuck with Armenia. And there'll be holy wars and, and a few other things. In fact, it's the only one that could do so. You better hope that you call for a white peace, get together, and stop Armenia. Let's see if we can take Marash. Yes, the fortifications are high, so the siege is going to take too long. Actually, no, it won't. One second. Is that where my leech? Of course, it complicates things. Damn it! 
Damn them! Damn everything. This is our only shot at this. My agents have acquired a discreet powder which leaves no trace of dissolved in drink. The sergeant's responsible for refilling and handling Conrad's cup and bribed to look the other way. All that remains to my approval to smuggle the poison to his next refreshing drink. A toast to his health. This isn't gonna end well. He's gonna know that I did this. He survived the poison. Unfortunately, his scholar mates have helped herself a sip of the drink before summer lord, and a dead servant is apparently a deterrent. At least none of the servants have confessed my involvement. Small mercies. Try again. Now he knows. Soon or later. Ah, oh, thank you. Faza was taken prisoner by America. Oh, the war is lost. Oh, that means the madness is finally ending. Good. But, however, that means Ayrsefa becomes the Akal, the young man. And now he's the Sultan. But the Caliph title remains with him. So he's your new overlord now. So we will not be involved in this Armenian issue. You know, since uh, these guys are, you know, hostiles right now. Actually, no. What's Armenia? No, no, they stopped the disillusionment thing. Okay. This is now a war for Kufa of what's left of the area that he holds. <sighs> so, I'll get you one of these days. I'll get you next time. We can finally stand down, stop this stupid nonsense. Now, will you please give me my wife back? I mean, I cannot pay the full ransom. Oh, I could feel in my very bones. Pluto will come for me soon. Like an old friend. He's patiently waiting to receive me. I'll be dead within a year. Okay, you know what? We will end the episode at the passing of, of it. This is his last episode here. So, there were plenty of setbacks. I was not able to overthrow him, but the claim to Armenia will remain. So it's got to be up to Sinan for the task to either fight for Armenia, which is going to have to take some convincing, and to... Uh, we really got to get together and, um, and such. The dry air of the scrublands filled my longest scar on my skin. After many days, I found myself subject to a state, losing my sense of self entirety, unbound by desires and preconceptions. I saw the truth of the universe written in the very fabric of the world around. I could see everything, understand everything, the universe and I, uh, as, and all as one. Eventually I return to my old self, but I still remember fragments of what I learned in my trance. Alas. So. Now that I'm back here, let's make things clear. So. You know, they killed my grandson, right? Yeah, he was to inherit the uh, upper Kabul. But Sinan will inherit everything. Which is good. More land, more troops, more money. So I 
conclude my meditation. And, you know, before I depart from the surf, I got an I know. Think clearly. I know he doesn't like me. He does Kala because he rebelled. Tell you what. <laughs> Look, I was thinking about bestowing gifts, but I kind of need the money right now. Though the income is rather good, and it is going to improve once we get full control again. How much does... Oh, he's got enough. He's got enough to inherit. Okay. I'm going to go over to him. Give him gifts of tribute. So I can get some renown, and then come back home. But, keep well in mind. There's some dangers here. Since Kamala isn't here right now, I guess it has to be you. And I like to be safe. can't get the Silk Road Merchants. I just want to be safe and, um, let me see. And pack some extra food. It's just you and me now. My last travel. That is to go to Armenia, pay a tribute, even though I spent quite a bit much. Grotesque creatures. I have rarely seen my caravan leader in his chaos excited before. His eyes seem to be devouring a richly learned book. I sometimes manage to take a peek on, at the maps in its interior. One morning, found approached me about his wings. On age, there are rumors that the land of Tal Mozan is home to extraordinary view. It is said that scapels, dwarf like creatures of a single large foot wander these cities. I must see them and report back of my findings. Okay, we go faster then. Every time we get to a new settlement, I take a moment to look around, trying to find the grotesque creatures that I've seen in his maps. The curiosity is simply too big. When we arrive at Tomazan, it comes to me, grasses book time. My age, we follow on indications, but these creatures are nowhere to be found. It occurred to me that it may perhaps no more than eventually. How are people back home going to know they weren't here? Convinced to be what I saw. Get rid of that. Doesn't matter now. On our way to a dick rider good, we appear to have stumbled to a local food market. Everywhere, peasants and nobles of every culture and tongue clamor around the exotic food stalls, the air thick with fragrances I had never imagined. My nose is drawn to a lowly stall stacked with a dish I could only dream of. I pulled out of my haze here by a halting grass of his kiss. Do not waste the pound of slum alone. Bowls of stew are for peasants. We have much finer foods at home. I want my bowl of stew. And I just got food poisoning. I know I'm to pass away soon, but this isn't helping. The soft rumor of the river been falling for a while. Uh, it becomes stronger now. Some members of the entourage talk of making, making a short stop, get some fresh water and rest their feet. There's a stone bridge where the path turns. A couple of men rest with their backs against the parapet. One hits on the other side and points to the group. The third man comes up short and looks at a spinning room. You know, he says, this is actually a toll bridge.
Preview didn't suggest that. Mokhtar? Sure. He beats the bandits. And he's an aggressive attacker now. You know, I don't have a court decision. You didn't... You didn't bring a court decision to your trip. Iconicum women. Armenian women. I have seen the world and beheld its many wonders in my trials. I never have I beheld such beauties as the ones I've seen in court. Truly, Armenian women are cut above all the rest. One particularly fascinating special take in my eye is as late a peasant woman by the name of Sirvat. A pretty little treasure. She is far too pleasing to my eye to spend her days slaying her way in. Look, I've seen Armenian women before, personally. <laughs> Again, in character. But they're all elderlies. But I've never seen a pretty young one. You know what? <laughs> she must be at my by my side forever. I miss my Serbian wife. I'll never forget her. But she can come with me. Doesn't say anything about making her as a lover. Nope. She's my concubine now. You could be good for me. Potentially. Serbian is concubine but believes in monogamous faith. Ah, you'll understand soon enough. Plus, your learning skill, it's nothing to sneeze at, so this is a, this is probably a stupid way to do this, but I need you to treat me. You know medicine? Because I ate a nasty bowl of stew. <laughs> oh, I should not be traveling in the winter. I don't think I'll ever ret return home. It seems our caravans become a little lost in these foreign lands. His kills but trail around us, Savukith, or ours. Or, yeah, at last, Waldo is probably asked for directions. Does not appear to be an expert uh, Hayarin speaker. Fortunately, I'm, I'm fluent in Hayarin, the Armenian language. So we'll be that fast enough, and uh, it has been snowing for the past few days, and the cold's unbearable. I look around to see that my entourage is struggling with it as well, so I decide to travel on foot alongside him. After we walk through the snowstorm for another hour, Savard pulls me aside. She growls, she ups. Please, my liege, I cannot feel my toe anymore. I order her to take off her boot and have a look at the toe. It's all dark blue already, and at this point it might be too late to save it. You know, I read a treatment in about in a manuscript once. There's a 75% chance she loses that frostbite, or she might gain severe frostbite like that one guy that time. Oh, the treatment failed. But, you know, she's an Armenian. She's stoic, so it's fine. She'll survive severe frostbite. Although they won't look at her more attractively. I am gonna die out here! <laughs> I made it! <laughs> Ah, uh, the servants are for me in Tagabagrat's great hall in Hag, where it sits a stone where did hear my pledge. I kneel at the feet of my lord and pledge many oaths of homage, as the scribes record even, and tens and fall presenting my rich gifts to the Dagwa, or the assembled court. Bagrat bids me to rise, confirm satisfaction, and write the lands I rule in the stead. The price have failed. So he has gained his gold. I gain a little bit of renown, which is more important. And now, time to return home that I may not return from. I am not paying for for this person who would have been a better physician if I brought over had I known. I think I have no choice but to compromise, but to get my lovely wife back. I mean, she misses me so, and she's going to be devastated. No. So. We're meant to be together forever. Will not accept! You greedy bastard! Okay, how about I owe you a hook as well? And you're not going to use that hook by any means, anyway. <laughs> how about just a hook and I don't pay? Deal. 
Okay, good. And you won't be able to use that hook in time. Okay? You will not be able to use that hook in time because I'm about to die anyway. Because I know I'm going to be with the one soon. There. Now, Draga is traveling on her way back to uh, Harano. See? She's on her way back. It'll be a short trip. Just be careful, because it's like a wild west out there. It's full of bandits. Thugs and muggers and creeps. And I'm sure she's made it home by now. We have a slightly better chance now. Glad to be well again. That means I'll finally die of a natural death. You try to change resources of peasantry. God dog it. Will I make it home? T tonight, while admiring a particularly fine bottle of wine, a thought occurred to me. Everyone knows that Kamran is fond of a good bottle of wine. This ticket of vintage would make a fine present. Alright, and it could be recorked after addition of some poison. Send with a note of a non sand race, and it just might work. Last chance! Alright, I made it home. I reunite with my wife, and then she'll be like, Who's that girl that you brought with you? And Amir Kamran is dead! Uh, his last hours of violent hallucinatory terror nightmare. Screaming a coffee blood and rent. Don't want a terrible oversight. It seems I signed my name to the letter with a bottle of wine. What a foolish mistake. Oh my, that bottle of wine I had was poison? Good thing I didn't drink it. Well, I'm a murderer now. But, it was worth it. Payback. Well, what do you know? Well, <laughs> it didn't use a hook on me, and now I get to die peacefully. At least we'll be together. Mm. Just get it over with. Let's end this episode on a... I guess it was a bittersweet thing that we just... <laughs> you can have your... back. And that shall be my last act. <sighs> so, I'll say this, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be the end of this episode. As soon as the death notification pops up, and uh, as I'm enjoying this bath again, and uh, oh, not again. Just take it slow, take it safe, and diligent. I don't want to get got right here right now. I don't want to die in a bath. Just want to be at peace. Nice and peaceful. With no BS. We'll find a way to get these children back. Don't you worry. We'll get them back. That'll be up to Sinan. I'm ready to be with the one. Don't do anything. Conversation over kicks. My entourage and I are strolling back from the short foray from Haran. I unexpectedly run across my liege. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, or, uh, or decided to be caught by surprise. A few months and comfortable sides passable by Godzai. Ah, my Hazarapet. Perhaps he would 
Join me in forgetting some this or some spice rinds and hash some of his cakes. We shall make a decadent night for it. Cause him talk too freely. Okay, I gotta hook on it. What do I do? What do I do? Well, it's too late to be a region now. It's already been changed long ago. Oh crud, I don't know what to do with this. It is an abuse of power and it costs way too much for stage. None of my people at court would be. He doesn't have Chono to the... Did I just see what I see? Secondary spouses. Is that... Oh, you're a Muslim now. Oh, good. You finally got over to that stone's head. Did... Or is that a result that... Um... When did he convert? Doesn't say. But he's a Muslim now, so all is well. Finally. And with that, please jump stop. Um, so, we'll end the episode on that note. Amir Thabit Al-Hurani's soul has finally been cast to the underworld at the age of 68. He died of old age. Though famous for his sharp intellect, he could still now not outsmart Pluto. And on the next episode, Sinan ascends to the throne, a gentle compassionate soul. His vassals will surely thrive under Sinan's reign. Age, culture, head, was dreaded, illustrious paragon of virtue. He was a scholar, fought in three wars, with the five activities, and a grand tournament. And so, we'll end this episode with that. So, in the next episode, the reign of Sinan will truly begin, and we'll pick up what we left off from here. So, see you in the next episode, but until then, so long for now.